as we discussed last time. Okay, sir. I'll get back to you. Just give me a minute. Thank you very much. Yes, Mr. Um, no, boss. Uh, the deal didn't go through. But um, I just need to, to finalize on some documentation. What do you mean the deal did not go through, Mr. Um, some, some, some small issue with the, with the documentation. Mr. Mksa, I'm sorry, but you're a senior manager in this company. We cannot afford losing business. We've been working on this deal for the last six months. And you're telling me the deal has not gone through? No, we cannot take this anymore. I'm sorry. You have to go and fix it, Mr. Mksa. I'm giving you two weeks to go and fix the business. We need that payment. You understand? Thank you very much. Get out of my office. Thank you. Nowadays I enjoy beans. Baby, what are you laughing about? Like, seriously, Angela, you sit comfortably and eat supper when Ken is not home? In my house, we don't eat supper before Mike comes back home. Oh. Then you'd be sleeping hungry every day. If we are married to the likes of Ken. As for me, can't wait to have my supper at midnight. Do you mean he comes back that late? Hmm. Sometimes even beyond. And you are very comfortable with it. As long as he brings a reasonable check home, takes care of me. Our daughters? Uh, Angela, when will you grow up? What are you talking about, Bobby? As a friend mm -hmm. who loves you so much, I want to give you a very simple advice. Bobby! Mm -hmm. Watch him closely. Else, that reasonable check, that big check you're bragging about, before you know it, it will be going to some other woman. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't see that coming. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> you will thank me later. For? Just do what I've told you. You'll thank me later. <sighs> Let me... <clears throat> Let me go home. Find Mike. It's getting late. I don't think he's picking me. Okay. Good night. Thanks for taking on us. Alright. I'll return the paper soon. Okay, good night. Greetings to Michael. Alright.
Honey, how many times do I have to tell you that holding your laptop like this is dangerous? Oh, it's 2 a.m. in the morning and you're still working? Angela, I have no choice. I mean, tomorrow I have a board meeting and this report it must be there by, by early tomorrow morning. But honey, this job is consuming you up. You need time to yourself. You hardly have time for the girls. You go very early in the morning when they are sleeping. Come back late in the night when they are sleeping. Honey, we miss you. I miss you. Hopefully you're not cheating on me again. Angela, honey, listen to me. Honey, I've apologized to you many, many times. And I can apologize a million times more. I need you to understand that I made a mistake. You're my wife, and I cherish you. You gave me a second chance, and there is nothing I'll do to jeopardize that. I'm doing the very best I can to make it up to you. And I need you to trust that. I need you to trust me. That sounds so sweet. So. Yes. Can we go so far away from the city this weekend? And have time to ourselves? Just the two of us? <clears throat> Angela, I appreciate the suggestion. But right now, the timing, it's all wrong. I mean, I've just been promoted. I have tight deadlines to meet. Uh, I'm trying to impress my boss, really. You know, I need you to understand. I expected that. I don't even know how I wasted my time talking about it. Angela, Angela, I need you to understand. What I'm doing, it's, it's not for me, it's for us. Angela, we need this. Yes, uh, good morning, boss. Uh, actually, I'm calling about that. I won't be able to attend today's meeting because uh, I have an emergency. No, no, no. I, I understand perfectly. It's, mm. 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 Okay, uh, what I've done, I've, I've sent you the reports. I sent you the detailed extract and the summarized version as well. Yes, yes, the number's on point. Everything is correct. I double-checked, triple-checked. Yeah. Yeah, for the files, um, I've asked my PA, Immaculate, to, to bring them over. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry about it. Mm. Okay, yes, yes. We, we shall discuss more when we meet in person. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Oof. Hey. <laughs> hey, love. Oh. Like, how are you? <laughs> how have you been? Have you brushed it? Let me see. Have you brushed your teeth? Huh? Huh? I know your mommy gives you very busy sweets. Let me see your teeth. Mm. Don't have any more. Uh, 
Tu vas me faire la sécher. Un petit truc. Eh, ok. Today I'm staying home with you the whole day. We are going to play. We are going to. No, I'm not going to. We're going to go for bouncing castle. Honey, you didn't have to lie to them. I know. I will. Mommy, 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 I want to play outside. Friends, straight into my. Okay, go and play. Go and wash your hands, okay? Malaika, go and wash your hands. Hey, Angela. That conversation we had last night. You know, I took it straight to heart. Eh? What? And you know, I love spending time with you and the kids. Wow. Okay. Let me serve breakfast. Let me just wash my hands. But you know, we are used to eating without you. Look, I'm sorry if my work makes you feel that you're less important. It's not the case. It's just that with this new promotion, I have extra work on my table. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe I overreacted, but what should I do? You know, I get jealous of your work, your workmates, your office. They get to spend more time with you than we do. Angela, Angela, I took the day off for you today. I'm here. I'm okay. all yours. Okay? Anybody home? Good morning, madam. Is this Mr. McSell's home? Who are you and what do you want? My name is Kushabai Machlet. I'm his secretary. Is he in? Well, Ken is my husband. Later. 
tuishi can't believe you're doing this to me again angel relax that's my secretary she's from work she has just come from office to pick this file they need it for today's meeting honey please do not stress yourself this is a nine issue you call this a nine issue Ken? Oh. Is that why you stayed home? So you could humiliate me? Bring your mistress into my face. Angela. Listen. She is my secretary. For goodness sake, please, that is all. What did you agree on? No more female secretaries, right? Oh, wait a minute. She's not just a female. She's young. She's tall. Is it about the height, Ken? You should have asked me to be in heels all the time. Probably that would have saved us from this. When did you two start seeing each other? Oh, goodness, goodness. Angela. She Angela what? She was assigned to me when I got the position as general manager. She literally came with the job. Why her and why didn't you tell me about it? Oh God. Angela. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting short of words right now. You should. Let me ask you. Am I the one who makes the HR decisions at my company? She was literally assigned to me by HR. Literally, she came with the job. And let me tell you, actually, even during that time, you were going through a tough time. You had just had the miscarriage. So I couldn't bring to you such petty issues. Petty issues. The HR assigned her to you. <laughs> Guess what? You couldn't resist. Just because she's young and tall, just like Joy. Oh, God. Come on. Honestly, I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. We can't continue like this. Every single time we have a small misunderstanding, you talk about joy, joy, joy. It's like I'm moving around this house with a dark cloud on my head. What the hell is that? Every single thing, joy this, joy that. Listen, Angela, I made my mistakes. I made my mistakes. I agree. I know you're so good at playing the victim all the time. But guess what? Not this time. Because it just awakened the demon in me. And you'll not like it. Angela! Anyway, sorry for the minute. I was just finalizing on some of these numbers. Mm -hmm. So anyway, here is the file. Um, let me give you the transport. Huh? So yeah, and please don't tell me what you need to take. Yeah? <laughs> It's not poisonous. It's not. Hi. I have done everything. I have begged for your forgiveness. Can't you just forget about everything and give me a second chance? 
Michael, you're my love, you're my soul, you're my heart beat, you're my everything. What do you want me to do? Why? I want you to give me space for now. Thank you. going to get back together by coming back past midnight? Mm -mm. No way. Mike, I cannot sleep here. Do not follow me. Sleep there. Where are you from? <laughs> Ken. I'm from trying my luck. Just like you've been trying your luck with all your secretaries. So, and let me get this straight. I cancel my very important board meeting to spend the day with you and the kids. <laughs> you go out for over five hours. You leave me here with the kids. You come back late. And to make it even worse, you're drunk. Angela, you're drunk. <laughs> hey, Jenny. <Jenny. laughs> you're drunk. So... You also know how it hurts being left home alone with these kids. I had a life, Ken. A well paying job. My family? You mean my dad? My mom? I left all that to love you. More so, I loved you more than I ever loved myself. And that was my first mistake. You know what, Kim? Joy, I need to hurry up. My wife might come here any time. It's okay. Joy, what happened yesterday? It was a mistake. It's not going to happen again. But please hurry. Joy, come on. Joy, what's wrong? Angela! Angela, it's not what it looks like. I can explain. Angela, I can explain. It's not what it looks like. Angela, please. It's how it looks like. Honey. Say something, please. <laughs> Angela, please. Sorry. I'm sorry. Say what it looks like, Angela. I don't know what happened. Angela, I was drunk. <laughs> Angela, honestly, you're stressing over Absolutely nothing. Stressing over nothing, Ken? Oh. Are you sorry again? Ken? How many times do you think I'm going to forgive you? How many, Ken? 
But you know what, Ken? You have a choice to make. It's either me or her. Angela, you want me to choose between you and something that does not exist. Listen, my relationship with her is strictly professional. It stops in the office completely. I have no choice. You have a choice. And that is turning your resignation later. Huh? I'm divorcing you. Angela, honestly, it hasn't gotten to that. Come, let's go and sleep. You leave money alone. <laughs> My obsession with your secretary is busted. <laughs> Wish I had the courage to cheat on you. So you know how it happened. <laughs> uh, the clients are here. Oh, the client. Actually, there was a change in plan. The client called and he said we should meet on site. Uh, Kushi had already left, but she was calling and we were taken. So mad at you, what you keep saying? That's not a jacket. Okay. 